Hi Bessame peeps, welcome back to the channel. I know that a lot of you wondering where I am you know, because I haven't uploaded a story in about a month. But it, something happened to me, it was totally out of my control. So I just come now to give you the update. And then of course, I'll start reading the stories again. But I wanted to take one guess what exactly happened to me. I'm gonna tell you about it after this. <laughs> So, now that I'm back, I just want to remind you that you have to like the video if you like the video. That means click the thumbs up, okay? And share it with your friends, alright? And if this is the first time you've been on the channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button. Anyway, for the story. So, what was your guess? What do you think really happened? COVID. COVID happened. COVID drop kicked me flat from my back from my bed for a few weeks. And I am a person who has asthma, so it was a little bit more complicated for me. My three kids caught COVID and bring it home, come give it to mom. So of course, I'm here and I'm feeling shortness of breath and you know, things like that. And I'm thinking it's asthma. So of course I take in the puffer, but I'm not feeling better. And even if I had paid more attention, I would have probably known because my daughters had told me from earlier the same week that they weren't feeling well but when the big one told me it was on Tuesday and they were having an exam or something at school so I thought it was a little trick to get out of it so I was like no no you're going to school and I gave her some medicine and sent her off and then the following day <laughs> her sister was telling me the same thing I was like no no you're going to school but the children don't really show the big effects of COVID like adults do so they didn't really look sick they don't have no temperature nothing it was just oh mom i don't feel feel good and that was it but by friday of the same week my son had a wicked headache i had a wicked headache my body was hurting i was heady you know congested in my head i just didn't feel fine at all and the asthma medicine wasn't working so the day after that the saturday some of my friends around here jamaicans were like sure net, go get the covid test you know rule out covid rule out covid it was covid it couldn't rule it out but of course they down on me to go do the test so i was like all right i haven't done one test for the whole covid from covid start i don't do no test i don't do none of the other thing either because i'm not a covid fan nothing to do with covid me not in it but anyway i decided to go do the test and i was dreading the nasal swab because if anybody know me, I don't even want nobody to touch my nose like that much. Let's go insert the testing strip. Oh, no, no, no. Anyway, I went down there and all of us got tested. The following day, Sunday, the results came back. All of us were positive. So that was it. I realized now what was going on. But the COVID in itself was bad. And let me tell you what was worse. The remedy them. Me say, let me tell you something. Jamaican people will kill you with remedy. You hear me tell you? Is not everything good for the ghost, good for the gander. So, by the time everybody here, everybody had a different remedy to tell me about. But most of them were sticking with the turmeric, ginger, lemon, and garlic tea, sweetened with honey. So I say, all right, seem like that are the popular favorite. I'm going to try that one. So I start mix my tea, blend up, blend up every day. I have my tea a drink. I fight COVID with it, you know. And I don't know if it was helping the COVID at all but all I know I was getting sicker by the day I felt so weak I was dizzy I was feeling pins and needles in my stomach I was seeing floaters the ceiling was spinning and I didn't know what was wrong until and I had a wicked cough like I could feel my sternum hurting me when I cough I just coughing coughing incessantly I couldn't talk, I couldn't deep breathe, a little shortness of breath, coughing all the way. So finally, I had to get the ambulance here. They came up and they did a full body assessment. And the ambulance worker said, your blood pressure is very low. And she couldn't understand why. Because I never realized that I should tell her about the remedy then. So anyway, <laughs> she checked the pressure a couple of times before we left. And they decided they're taking me to the hospital. So they took me down on the ambulance while we were going down to put in an IV line and whatnot. So when I got to the hospital, they immediately connected me to some fluids because I was dehydrated as well because 
I like over there, you know. <laughs> me say, all some of my, my, my friends, them all I tell me about, you, you need to go up on diet, you need to go do what? Two weeks worth of COVID and I lost 20 pounds because the worst thing happened, I lost my taste, I lost my smell, I couldn't enjoy any food. Matter of fact, COVID just wiped out my appetite. So I was just laying there. I wasn't short of any food or anything like that because my friends just rally around me and you know people kept bringing food cooked food baked goods groceries fruit you name it they come they put it down on the front step we go out there we pick it up we carry it in so we never had to worry about anything at all but boy i tell you i lost all of my eating ability for the period because you know everything that went down came right back up all my brother cooked one nice curry bring come give me you see by the time it done out it came because i had all the covid symptoms too everything including the vomiting and you know anyway when i got to the hospital they put on the drip and of course it's saline salt is in it so by the end of the day when they checked my pressure i was okay and they did all the tests that they were to do and then when they finally brought me back home I seemed okay, but of course, me still I do the remedy them because me want COVID out of my life. Some of them they know me still I feel sick, me I walk, me I dizzy, me I stagger. And then me remember one of the time I lay down on the bed and me feel the whole place I spin with me and me I say, Oh God, me know say me not going to drop because me lay down, you know, but please hold me. Me a fairy side Psalm 23 when me glimpse up on the, the ceiling, so I saw the something as me not feel sick, sick, sick. And that was when the spirit said to me, no drink, no more of that tea there. And then I realized that the garlic and the lemon in it were what was causing the big problem. So while that remedy may have worked for a lot of other people, it was not the thing for me. I stopped drinking it and I started to recover. And you want to see a joke? You see if me did ever dead, people would say a COVID killed me. When poor little COVID, all the COVID do. I helped me shed off 20 pounds in a no time at all. But anyway, thank God I'm still here. Me dip on the right side of the ground. The other big remedy was the steam. Steam, make sure your steam and get the hot the steam down in your lungs. So you want to see me under the big towel. And then, <coughs> so me take the deep breath and so me scoff <gasps> like some old man was smoking up. And I was taking in all that steam. Somehow, I believe, all that steam went in oh, and it transformed into liquid in my lungs because I ended up with COVID pneumonia. So I had a hard time getting over that as well. Oh. But to God be the glory, here I am. <laughs> I can talk, I laugh again, I can work. <laughs> and I'm still alive, you know. I have since gone down to get the first one of the two other things that I didn't want to get. Not because I'm afraid, just because all of the pressure that coming down from all angles, but, you know, I'm just thanking God. I'm thanking God for the deliverance and I'm really happy that I'm still on the right side of the ground. So you will still be seeing me around, okay? <laughs> and I just want to thank God for all the people who were rallying around me the whole time. I was here with the children sick, you know, they were dropping off goods you know groceries baked goods cooked meals we weren't short of anything so i really thank god for people like those who i have in my life you know and i know that you out there would have been sending me well wishes and stuff as well if you had known but you can do it now still in the comment section below <laughs> I still appreciate it and I really thank all of you who have been visiting the channel still even while I was away I saw my numbers grow matter of fact I'm up to 911 I think was the last number I saw and I really appreciate that keep it coming soon I'll get to a thousand and watch the videos push up the wash hours for me because I'm really I'm not even up to half of the hours that I need to get monetized and you know that's everybody's goal now that they know about it so Thank all of you, my subscribers. Thank you for helping me to grow this channel to where it is. And thank you for all your support that I know you will continue to give. If you did like the video, please remember to click the thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if, it's, if, if this is the first time you have visited the channel, please remember to click the subscribe button. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. 
bye bye